painting tutorial this time it's a desert camo cloak starting with Ou Shabti Bone which I did two coats now I'm just going to use my little sponge and a bit of dryad bark and I'm going to just gently dab try not to go too heavy using a pair of tweezers and I'm going to just dab the dryad bark on in patches wherever I see fit on top of the Ushabti bone. So I'm trying to um, I'm trying to match this to a, a table idea I have in mind actually. So this is probably the easiest way I know of doing this sort of thing. This is just a, a, an easy way I'm going to use to do mine. You can use whatever colours you want. So Once the dry bark is done, I'm then going to do a one-to-one -one mix with uh, corn red and mournfang brown. Same sort of thing. Just going to go over in patches where I didn't before. Depending on how you have your piece of sponge folded, depends on how easy it is to get into the little crevices of the cloak. No, it's okay. It's all random anyway. Next I went for a bit of XV88. Not quite so much um, with this one. Still random though. I've decided I'm going to do the other side of the cloak. A different colour, like a darker colour. Maybe like a rhinoxide or something. I'm not entirely sure yet. That's a, or even a blue. That might be good. Interesting. And then you got your paints down in whatever way you want to do it. I'm just going over with some Seraphim Sepia wash over the entire cloak. Be mindful not to let it pool too much as cloaks have a tendency to do. Like so. And there it is. Obviously when it dries it will become quite matte. And that finish. There he is. My version of my desert camo effect for my scout cloak. And that's what I'm going to do. Get a few of them done and off I go. Thank you for joining me on this tutorial. I'll see you on the next one.